it's quite easy to get a drug approved, particularly a psychiatric drug, because almost anything will do. There are various tricks in psychiatry that are very much used, which um, actually makes it so easy to get drugs approved. Almost all trials are done in this way. You have some people who are already on a drug, for example, an antipsychotic drug or an antidepressant drug. Then you have a short period where they don't get a drug. It, it's called a washout period. And then you randomize to another drug or placebo. What happens in the placebo group? You expose some people to a cold turkey. Some people become abstinent and develop terrible symptoms when they get a placebo. And these symptoms can be, for example, a depression if you were on an antidepressant drug before you became randomized. So this is an abstinence depression. And if you look at antipsychotic drugs, it's even worse. These trials, a number of people die when they get a placebo, when they are switched to a placebo, then they die. And a good deal of them likely kill themselves because of serious withdrawal symptoms. So we are dealing with what I call a lethal research design. It is unethical. It shouldn't be used. And uh, Bob Whittaker has uh, had access to unpublished data and he writes in one of his books that uh, one out of every around 140 people who came on a placebo they died. That's a huge death rate in a short-term trial. And the FDA did not even require the drug companies to tell the public about these deaths. 